The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a <sighs> What a dreadfully sorry sight. Mm. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Oh, what? Go away, Jasper. Now that is hardly the response of a princess. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bear. Madam, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Master Elliot is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. It becomes a member of the royal family to wear only the most fashionable. Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Master Elliot will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to him now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Have a good day, madam. Will do. Bye, Jasper. Our princess. Trust you well, madam. Hello, princess. Madam. Ah, my lady. Good day, your highness. Good day, princess. I hope you're holding hands is rather unseemly, but as it's you, I shall make an exception. Off we go then. Very good. I. Oh, how are you, my princess? Oh, fierce warrior! Are you here to join my army? Good. We shall face all our enemies together, won't we? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Then the kingdom is safe. Oh, our fair princess. Your two brave knights will protect you with their lives. <laughs> I can look after myself, you know. Really? I'm afraid I'll need some proof. Perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your... <laughs> How's that? That's... Huh, I'd have to say that's quite satisfactory. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but... Everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother, but more than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their princess. So, my good princess, may I take your hand in a... Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think... Well that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. 
and he looks so tired all the time. Ah, my lady. How? <sighs> I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to carry on with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. Greetings, Mom. How do you do? Well, I heard all he did was stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Welcome, Your Majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. I'm sure you have much to You've tell us, You've been through some highness. difficult times. And the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of her, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I think you have a knack for reaching out to people. They all looked up to you back there. The way they look up to a leader. My lady. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. Sir Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? Sir Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But, perhaps the princess here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, Your Majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. Seen his elite soldiers. What are they hiding under those masks? Why should we pay for Logan's bad 